Hey y'all, it's Emily Jufre. Today is day 80 of the 90 day video challenge and today we're going to talk about what you're willing to do that others aren't in order to succeed in life. And you know guys, success looks different to different people. You know, for me, success has always been doing what I want, when I want to, where I want to, with whomever I want to. And you know, that's, you know, me having my own business, being able to work from home, being able to spend as much time with my family as I want, working when I want to work and playing when I want to play and going wherever I want to. You know, to me that is success. You know, success might mean something to you. It might mean, you know, being a CEO of a um, brick or mortar business. It might be becoming a successful actor or musician or, you know, having a mission, uh, a, mis a ministry mission that you, you know, go all around the world with. You know, success looks different from, or just being a, you know, um, very, very happy, um, you know, being in a very, very happy, uh, successful relationship or marriage and having awesome kids. You know, success comes in all different shapes, shapes and colors and sizes and whatever it is you want to do, that is your measure for success. So don't ever try to measure your success to anyone else's because it's what you want to do when you want, with whom you want, whenever you want. And that is success to everyone. But in order to get to what it is that you want to do, you have to be willing to do things that others aren't. And, you know, particularly for, you know, people in a home business or, you know, an um, Olympic athlete or, you know, um, actors and um, musicians, a lot of the times becoming a master at something or becoming very successful and skilled at something, it requires doing something every single day. Dribbling a basketball, rehearsing your lines, practicing your keyboard or guitar, um, blogging every single day, doing a video every single day. and. After a while, a lot of the times things lose their luster and their appeal and they don't become fun anymore, they are just work. And a lot of the times people quit because they just feel like it's more work. Well, everything takes work. Everything great takes work. A uh, successful relationship takes work. Being a Olympic athlete takes work. Being a fantastic musician takes work. Being a su successful home business owner takes work. And a lot of times it takes doing things through trial and error that no one else is willing to or too scared to do in order to find out what works and what doesn't. Thankfully though on our team you're able to plug into a system that has been tried and you know it's not on trial, it's been proven to work and be successful and you can learn from people's mistakes so that you don't have to make, make them and suffer the pain and the time that it takes to uh, do trial and error. So, um, but it still takes work on your part to make success happen for you because bottom line, your success is your responsibility, not anyone else's. No one can make the decision for you. No one can do the work for you. So what are you willing to do in order to reach that success? Is it going without sleep so that you can get extra work done? Is it getting up early? Is it, you know, giving up a few things like TV time in order to do the work? Is it, you know, um, putting money towards, um, you know, investing in something versus, you know, spending it on Starbucks and, and other things? I had another thought here, but I totally forgot what it was. What are you willing to do in order to succeed and reach your goals in life? You have to ask yourself that. And if you're willing to do what no one, what the masses typically are just not inclined to do, you will succeed far beyond everybody else. And this isn't a contest about succeeding far beyond everyone else. It's about knowing what it takes is that you have to push through what society says. Oftentimes you have to go against the grain of what society says because people are have an entitlement attitude of wanting things to come to them or be given to them but when you want something so bad it requires you to get up and get it yourself and to not ever quit so guys what are you willing to do if you want to work on a team of people 
who have done trial and error in all areas of their life, financially, emotionally, relationally, spiritually, and they've now come to a place where they are excited and happy and are growing and making a lot of money doing it. And if you want to work with a group of people like that, then stop what you're doing, click the link below, get on the list because the blog beast has come and our blogging platform has gotten better than ever. I just did my first blog post on the new format today and it is totally awesome. Totally, uh, you know, it's going to make blogging and doing home business so much easier because it's all from your phone. So, I mean, you can still do it on your computer if you want to, but if you're on the go, hey, you can do it on your phone. How cool is that? So guys, I wouldn't waste any more time because the cart is going to open up back on the 18th. So if you want to get in front of the wave now, you need to get on the list now and be ready to go. Plus, you'll get to see the funny movie that our co-founders make. But go ahead. I'm just going to stop talking. Click the link below. Get on the list, and I'll see you on the team. Take care. Bye.